at the top of the page here, we have our dashboard. If you're looking to access that, you go ahead and click on the dashboard button. And on the dashboard here, you'll notice a few different features off the bat. At the top of the screen here, we have a general snapshot of today's market. Again, this, uh, this chart here is produced in 10 minute intervals throughout the day. So that's a general snapshot of uh, how the S&P performed today. Along the right side here, we have a general profit and loss graph of your account. So this, is, this graph is compiled based on how your uh, net liquidity is closing at the end of each day. And you can go ahead and filter this. Uh, we have a one day graph with a one week, one month, three month, one year. And then there are going to be more customization features coming in the future. Shifting your focus to the middle of the screen now, we have our news tab here. So this is going to be uh, some of the recent articles that have news articles that have come out today. Um, if you're looking to access and read these, you could just go ahead and click on them and boom, there you go. A window will pop up where you're able to then uh, see the contents of that article. A little bit further down the screen here, we have three different watch lists displaying along the bottom. We have the tasty earnings watch list, which shows any underlyings with upcoming earnings. Uh, in the middle, we have the dividend champions watch list. So this is a list that's compiled of uh, different companies that have increased their, their dividend payment over the last 25 years. And then next to that, we have the tasty fast movers watch list. In the fast movers watch list, that is compiled of underlyings that have a high IV or IVR, I should say. Shifting our focus back here now, we are going to go actually head over to our manage tab at the top of the screen. So this is going to be this manage button up here. This is going to take you to the management portion of the website. So from here, you get a general account summary. If you're looking to add funds to the account, you can quickly do that here by clicking add funds now. If you're looking to apply for another account, you can do that by clicking open another account. And then you can also go ahead and edit a uh, referral code here at the bottom. You can also access your own referral link. Now, along the right side of the page here, and we won't be clicking into these features, but you'll notice we also have the My Accounts tab, My Money, My Profile, and then you can access your tax center as well from here. So when 1099s come out, you will be able to access, access those directly from the my.tastytrade.com website. But if you're familiar with our, our website now, tastytrade.com, these, these tabs should look uh, should look pretty familiar to you. So in the My Accounts tab here, you can go ahead and My Accounts, for example, you have the ability to access different confirmations and statements. You can edit your uh, trading preferences, things along those lines. My Money, again, this is where you can initiate any deposits or withdrawals or internal transfers. Um, and then cryptocurrency transfers as well. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you were aware of that, but that's a fairly new feature. Uh, you do now have the ability to transfer cryptocurrency out of Tasty Trade if you're to to an external wallet if that's something you're interested in. And then we also have the My Profile feature here, where you're able to edit your investor profile, personal information, uh, add beneficiaries, things along those lines. That's all accessible in the My Profile tab. Moving along here, now we are going to shift our focus to the main uh, feature, I would say, on the on the platform here. This is where, you're, where you'll be spending most of your time. It's probably in this trading tab. So we'll go ahead and select that. And right off the bat here, where we're brought to um, is our positions tab. You'll notice uh, I want to point out three main panels that we have here on the uh, trading tab. First is going to be the left side panel. So if you look along the side of your screen here, if we go ahead and pop this out, you'll have access to all these different uh, tabs. So the first one is going to be your positions tab, which I'm sure a lot of you may be familiar with if you access other, uh, other trading platforms we offer or our desktop platform, uh, the layout's very similar. Um, underneath that, we have the trade tab, activity, uh, you're able to set up watch lists, history tab, research and news. Then we'll go a little bit more in depth uh, with those in a little bit. 
Um, underneath that, you're able to sw quickly switch between accounts. So right now we have the 01 account selected. As you'll notice, we have the T-Shield highlighted next to that account. And then also we are currently only showing positions that are in the 01 account uh, that would be indicated by this little checkbox here. So right now we have everything pulled up only for the 01 account. If you're looking to maybe check out the 08 account, let's say you wanted to include the positions from there as well, you go ahead and check this box. And you'll notice now in our positions tab, we have many different uh, many different positions that uh, that pop up as this is a combination of both uh, open positions in the 01 and 08 account. Now, if you're looking to switch to maybe placing a trade in the 08 account, all you need to do is go ahead and click on this T shield next to the 08 account. And just like that, uh, we would not be trading in the 08 account. For this demo, we're going to go ahead and switch back to the 01 account and also go ahead and uncheck that 08 account just so we only show the positions here. But what I also wanted to point out is this little arrow toward the top of the page. So you'll have the ability to actually pop out a watch list on the left side panel here. If that's something you're looking to do, you go ahead and click that little arrow. And just like that, you get a watch list that will pop out. And to go ahead and collapse it, just click that arrow again. Watch list is now collapsed. We'll go ahead and collapse this left side menu right now. Moving along here, focusing on the right sidebar here um, in order to, oops, let's go ahead and pop that back out. Okay, so we have the right sidebar here. On the right side, we have our overview uh, tab. Underneath that, we have a positions tab, so that'll show any current positions, kind of like a, a small, small snapshot of what you see in the main positions tab here. Um, underneath that, we have the activity tab, watch list again, order chains, uh, research and news, and then also the ability to set alerts is over here. Um, but in the overview tab, what you'll get here, this is just going to be a snapshot of whatever underlying you're currently looking at on the platform. So if we were to search Apple at the top of the symbol search box there, you'll notice now that we get a small uh, chart here of Apple five minute, five day. And underneath there, we also get some more of the quote details. So open, high, low, uh, you'll get the volume, any upcoming earnings dates. It looks like Apple has earnings on February 1st and also an upcoming ex dividend date as well as dividend, uh, expected dividend payment amount is displayed here at the bottom. And then we have our main middle uh, window where you'll probably be spending most of your time so in order to, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and collapse that right sidebar. Now, here's our main window. Along the top, um, you may have caught that I searched a symbol using the symbol search box at the top of the page, but this is how you're, uh, the primary way you're going to uh, search for different symbols. And then underneath that, we just have a uh, little account snapshot. Right now we're in privacy mode, so the net lick is blurred out, but this is where you would see uh, your net liquidity as well as your profit and loss uh, for the day, profit and loss year to date, and then your buying power is also accessible from here. And then underneath there, you get a, uh, based on whatever symbol that you've searched, that symbol will be displayed right here. And then to the right of that, you get the uh, quotes. So you get the last price and then the current bid ask price for that, uh, for that symbol that you're searching.